today on WBLM. Students receive their academic awards. The Respect Life Club is hosting a diaper drive. A potential government shutdown has yet to be averted, and Lebanese officials say at least 14 people were killed and more than 450 people injured. All this and more coming up right now. What's up, Wolverines? Welcome to today's edition of WBLN. I'm Christian Cueto. And I'm Aiden de Oliveira. Congratulations to all the students who received academic awards at last night's ceremony. The awards ranged from being top two in the class to everyone who had A's in both semesters. There were also three different award types, the Citizenship Award, the Service Award, and the Leadership Award. The Respect Life Club is hosting a diaper drive from September 9th to October 4th. Any size diaper package will do. Just bring to your flex. The drive will help support the mothers and babies in need at the Lotus House. A potential government shutdown has yet to be averted. On Wednesday evening, a six-month funding extension failed to get through the, through the House. The final tally for the GOP-led bill was 202 to 220. Fourteen Republicans voted against it and three Democrats voted in favor. The funding extension included the SAVE Act, which focused on pre preventing non-citizens from voting. Speaker of the House Mike Johnson hasn't said what steps will now be taken in order to prevent a shutdown. Former President Donald Trump has been calling on Republicans to let a shutdown happen if the SAVE Act isn't approved. Let's move on to international news, where Lebanese officials say at least 14 people were killed and more than 450 injured. According to Lebanese health officials, after an attack that targeted pagers held by members of the militant group Hezbollah on Tuesday and Wednesday by Israeli forces. In the aftermath of this latest wave of attacks, the U.S. conveyed to Iran via a back channel that it was not involved in the attack and that Iran should not escalate. Iran's ambassador to Lebanon was injured by an exploding pagers, according to Iranian state media. Throughout the course of the, new, the nearly year-long war in Gaza, the U.S. has consistently sent indirect messages to Tehran about not escalating. What's up guys, I'm Gilbert Wick and here's your weather for today. Today there will be heavy thunderstorms that will clear out through the night. Today there's a high of 87 and a low of 79. Tomorrow there's a 50% chance of rain with a high of 88 and a low of 78. Saturday there's a 30% chance of rain with a high of 88 and a low of 77. That's all for your weather today and now to sports. Hey Wolverines, I'm Bobby Caballero and here are your sports for today. Today the JV football team takes on True North at Belen at 4. The 6th grade football team faced the Westminster Warriors on Tuesday. Unfortunately the Wolverines lost 34-6. Following the game, the middle school football team played Ransom Everglades. Despite their efforts, they lost 32-8. Yesterday, both golf and middle school swimming were cancelled due to lightning and will be rescheduled for another date. The Wolverine varsity swimming team hosted the battle of all dual meets in Miami. Belen vs. Columbus and Carrollton vs. Our Lady of Lourdes on Tuesday. After a couple of events, it seemed like Belen would completely swim away with the meet. But it was the last event, the 200-yard freestyle relay, that was one of the most exciting races of the afternoon. Columbus took an early lead, but Alec de Angulo was able to come from behind to give Belen the opportunity to take the race. Anchoring the race was Chris de Angulo that hit the water and finished it off for the Wolverine victory. I felt, I felt pretty good. There was definitely a lot of pressure going into it because you know we had the lead going into the going going into the last leg. Um, Alec had a great split as the third leg, but you know there was definitely a lot of pressure when he the had the win. We caught up with Coach Mr. Andres de Angulo to tell us about the meet and what he thought about the team's performance. Uh, good meet. You know, win is a win. We're always happy to walk away with a victory. We won nine out of the eleven events, so I'm pleased with you know the performance we had up top. Uh, we outscored them by a pretty good margin, which means that you know all of our guys scored some points where they needed to score some points. Uh, it's all in the process of what it is that we are trying to accomplish for the end of the year. Uh, we've got bigger goals in mind, but this is a good way to kind of see where it is that, that we are and what they did do a little bit better drive to feed that faster. In pro news, tonight Thursday Night Football brings us an AFC East division rivalry between the Jets and the Patriots. 
That's all your news for today. Back to the guys at the desk. Thanks, Bobby. That's all your news for today. Remember, stay safe. And stay golden, Wolverines.